Hi everyone, my name is Robert, and you're watching That's the Movie. So today I'll be reviewing Wish I Was Here. Wish I Was Here was Zach Braff's second movie he's directed. His first movie was Guarded State, and it was a really good movie. It was, uh, came out around 2004, and it was, you know, this indie movie. It was like a romance, and it was really well done. I liked it. It was a bit more dramatic and less comedy, but it still had that same uh, flavor of comedy that you see in Scrubs from Zach Braff. And um, going into this movie, I was really excited for it. I was, I couldn't wait to see it. And you know, 2014, it's been actually a really good year for movies. Like, I've been let down two or three times, but it was something I expected, you know, from those movies I went to go see. But 2014 has been great, and I have to say that it's just getting even better. With this movie, it was just fantastic. I, I don't know what, I don't know how to say it, but it was just a really great movie. Zach Braff looked like he put so much love into this movie. He started Kickstarter last year, I think, for this movie, and it raised a lot of money. And he just, it, it looked like this was something he was so happy to do, and it also looked like it was something very personal. Uh, he wrote this movie with his brother, Adam Braff, uh, Braff and um, I don't know, it was just, it felt something that was very personal to them, and they made this movie, and it was really well done. And even just all the actors in it were fantastic. Zach Braff, of course, did great. He was a lead, but really the ones who shined in this movie were all the supporting characters. They were just fantastic. I really liked Manny Patinkin, and of course, he's just a really robust actor. He's just great. Every time you see him in any movie, you know he's going to be awesome. Especially on TV shows like Homeland. That guy is the best. And then you have Josh Gad. Josh Gad, uh, he did the voice of the snowman of Olaf in Frozen. And he's been smaller roles in, in really dumb comedies, you know, throughout his years. And this movie really allowed him to shine. I think it showed him that he's just not this stupid funny guy that they have everywhere, where he's just this overweight guy that you can make fun of in every movie. No, he's really good. I was really happy to see him shine. It was more towards the end of the movie, but he really showed his acting chops and it was great. And also, Joey King. Um, she, she plays one of Zach, one of Zach Braff's uh, kids. She was fantastic. I've loved her ever since I've seen her before. She's a really young actress and really good. And she's really talented, but a lot of her movies just come off like just too melodramatic. And you don't believe her characters, not because of her, because of the movies that are written. She does a great job, but it's just before I haven't been able to see her actually feel like a real person. And in this movie, she felt real. To me, she felt like a real little kid. Uh, she has this thing where she really, she's, she's Jewish and she really loves her religion. Like she really believes in God and she does, and she loves it so much. And it didn't feel like it was a gimmick. It felt to me like genuine, what she believed for her religion, that it was real. It wasn't something that was trying to push it in your face. It felt like this kid could genuinely love this religion and love it so much. And she just was, came off the most sincere and one of the best performances I've seen in that movie and of her in a while. I really enjoyed that. And also, like, both his kids, uh, his youngest, who plays a boy, I think, in this movie, Pierce Gag Gagnon, I think that's how you pronounce his last name, uh, he was really funny. He, was this, he played the youngest uh, out of Zach Braff's children in this movie, and it was just awesome. And Kate Hudson played his wife, and she was fantastic as well. I, I never really cared for Kate Hudson before. Uh, I've seen her in a few movies, and I thought she was great, but it never something that really sold me. And to tell you the truth, when this movie first started, when I was watching it, I didn't really care for Katie Hudson's character. She just seemed like she was there for no reason. And about like midway through the movie is when she really picked up and it got, and you started liking her. She actually had a reason to be there, and you enjoyed watching her the whole way through. And you know, enough of the actors. The writing in this movie was also something very well done. I. I enjoyed, I enjoyed it thoroughly because it had this sort of, um, it, it was always, it had this dramatic feeling to it, but it felt real because there was always this underlying tone of comedy and, every, and everything. They were, they, they, they would like cut scenes, and that's another thing, the editing in this movie was probably one of the best editing I've seen since like Drive. It was just awesome. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, it was just, they cut these uh, certain emotional moments in the movie straight to this really, like, uplifting comedic moment and it kind of caught you off guard a few times but there was this way where they un they would intertwine the scenes and it was just fantastic they would do even the audio the uh, audio editing the sound editing for this movie was really good it had these moments where it looked like it was just going to be like this weird dreamy thing going on and, the, and on screen you're watching this whole dreamy quality thing going on but then there's this whole dialogue 
from another scene that's happening right after that, or at the same time. And then seamlessly they just cut in from that whole cool shot back to the actual scene of them talking. And it was really nice. You, you'll see it when, you, when you, you actually go watch this movie. It was fantastic. I loved all of it. And I really do recommend you go see this movie. It was really good. Zach Braff directing was just fantastic. He's always been good at it since Garden State. And I really enjoyed it. He, he's been a great actor and I've always liked him. There's been very few times where I've seen him do something where it doesn't look like he genuinely enjoys what he's doing. And I'm just happy for this movie that it just felt like he really loved what he was doing with this movie. It looked like he put his heart into it, both directing and acting. And he really made sure that, at least directing-wise, that his actors were great. He would, he would direct them in such a fantastic way because it's just impossible that all these actors shined. Every single supporting actor, even had small roles, they all shined and they all, they're all memorable. And I really enjoyed that. And yeah, I do recommend you go see this movie. Um, it's a really good movie. I think I think you can even take a date on this movie. It was really it was really one of those good feel good movies of this year, and it, there was moments too, even when this movie got really dramatic, that I even got teary eyed a bit. I mean, I didn't go full fledged crying like Gladiator style, but I mean, the movie was the movie was uh what had had its very its very touching moments, and and I'm usually not one who ever gets teary eyed in any movie whatsoever. But this movie managed to do it, and it was really well done. That's mostly just the performances from the actors, especially a scene between uh, Kate Hudson and Manny Patinkin. That was that was a really good one. Both of them just did fantastic jobs. So you guys can check me out on Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook at the Real Robert A H, and you can go on Facebook, look at our pages. Uh, that's the movie page and the Sasha Marina show. And you guys can go on Instagram and uh, follow me as well at Robert Alfonso Hidalgo. And you guys can go on to SashaMarinaShow.com, go to Topics, go to That's the Movie, and you can look at any uh, anything else I've done, and as well as Sasha's things. And go on YouTube, search up That's the Movie or Sasha Marina Show. Also check every Monday, me and Sasha have a uh, podcast where we do movie news. So every Monday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can go on the website, and it shows you links and everywhere where to go, and you can look at the past recordings from my other podcasts. So just go ahead and check it out. So yeah, uh, that's a movie.